Okay, there. This is K4A Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. In today's video, I will try to explain how and when to use Game Maker GML Visual block, which is called Set Direction Fixed. In previous video, we have learned how to use Set Speed block, and uh, we have added some kind of a green block green uh, square on the screen which will represent our enemy and that green square speeds up because we have added set speed in our um, step event i will uh, click on that event and delete it because i don't want it to uh, do that kind of action and i will go to create and enable set speed so this set speed will be triggered only once and checked only once and uh, because it's in create event and let's now try to uh, explain this direction what uh, that word means i have explained that a little bit in the previous video but we have to uh, do it again um, it's very very simple and this um, icon says it also think about it as some kind of line some kind of direction line from you from your player of or the object you are coding into and that uh, direction that line uh, is mostly called vector vector uh, direction in uh, mathematics in math and in game development in game engines so it is used to uh, show and explain where your uh, object where your player is directing to where it is moving to so it is used for that purpose and uh, because um, we have uh, objects and players in our games which can move to different directions we also have to change that direction from time to time so uh, on this icon it goes up left right and down so think about it again as one of those possibilities and again because we make uh, different games sometimes sometimes your um, objects will change directions and uh, it can be for example if you have enemy which uh, uh, follows the player or um, patrols around some kind of uh, enemy base or something like that so you will have to give him a specific direction in a couple of steps like go first to the left then up then to the right then down and so on so it's like uh, for example uh, that is too complex for this um, example but imagine this uh, green enemy block as uh, patrolling around some base so you say okay start from this position go up right down left up the right down left and so on so you change his direction from time to time or from one condition to the other it's too complex for this uh, example as i said and again i think i owed you uh, some kind of um, examples for the last video in which we have learned how to use set speed so set speed uh, we have used it for our enemy to go in one direction left or right or up or down but you can use it uh, to uh, add speed for some kind of vehicles in your game uh, for bullets or ammunition which you shoot on your uh, enemy or uh, you can use it to set speed of some kind of booster again depending on conditions so if i have uh, if i have collected some kind of booster and use it then set my speed uh, uh, to bigger amount to so I can go faster for some time and then slow it down and so on so th those would be some kind of examples for set speed and let's go now to um, the fixed direction block set direction fixed so again uh, in a set speed previous block which we have learned we have uh, this drag drop uh, drag and drop uh, menu which says direction horizontal and vertical so when we click on vertical our object will go up and down so that means vertical when we click on horizontal our player will go left and right our enemy sorry 
that means horizontal left and right so x x position x coordinates are horizontal y coordinates are vertical and direction is still kind of mystery for us but if we leave this direction as uh, in this uh, position like this type direction uh, and uh, type 3 or minus 3 it will use horizontal because that's default uh, state for game maker and most of the other game engines because if you don't have direction defined uh, game maker thinks you are uh, using the same direction as horizontal horizontal is, is somehow uh, default and it makes sense so uh, again uh, because we want our enemy to move in some kind of different direction than horizontal left right up and down we will try to find that solution uh, to that um, in game maker studio visual code gml visual drag and drop system so again go to movement uh, just to check if this is yeah it's recording uh, uh, so go to movement uh, set of blocks and find the first one from the left set the direction fixed and click and drag it into your create event I, I'm using create event for my obj enemy object so as you can see it's very very simple in this uh, drag and drop uh, visual gml code style uh, you have some kind of uh, buttons you uh, are able to click on and that's how you define the uh, direction of your um, movements so if i want my um, player my enemy to go down i click on down direction up up and so on so and you can see if i uh, click on uh, down and want to go in different way i just click on different direction and automatically down is disabled so you can only select one of those that's what i wanted to say you cannot you cannot select one two three but only one of those so i will try with this uh, go down uh, right so it's ver uh, vertically right and down it's diagonally right so let's try to see if, the, if that works and it's simple as that you don't have any other kind of options so it's uh, yeah it works so it's going diagonally right and down so let's try diagonally right and left uh, and it will go um like uh, moving towards the yeah towards the player looks nice okay so this is nice and simple and it works but uh, you have to be careful because um, I was explaining that um, earlier so many times but again uh, even I forget sometimes or make mistakes with those kind of uh, it works same in visual and uh, typed code uh, the game maker studio as other game engines it's mostly uh, they mostly read the code from top to bottom so the first uh, code uh, you write in your type, uh, code editor will be re uh, read as the first one then the second and so on so the last one counts so if you say in the last uh, uh, in the last uh, code block if you say delete this instance that will be executed as the last one so all of those uh, first code uh, blocks will be overwritten they will be executed first like first is set direction fix the second one is set speed and so on if i had like uh, 60 code blocks here they would be read from top to bottom like first one is the the highest one and the last one is the lowest one and so on uh, but you have to be careful if you uh, code complex uh, games or codes and um, yeah, you uh, accidentally uh, put some kind of blocks or uh, later when you type your code you type some kind of code um, uh, below some kind of other block instead of above because you can move those blocks up and down as you want so sometimes you will make mistake and what will happen now uh, for example if I uh, I'm not um, careful here so I'm using uh, I want my um, enemy to go uh, diagonally down that works fine as i can see but uh, first of all you have to be careful not to overwrite it with the next code block 
because if, if I have put horizontal here, the first block will say, okay, mm, okay, go down and below uh, diagonally to the left, but the second one will say, uh, oh no, go horizontally. So what will happen now? I think it will go horizontally to the right because I have used horizontal speed three. Yes, as you can see, so you can you have to be careful about that. And uh, again, it's only um, uh, it's exercise and experience, and uh, be aware when you code, be careful, and the accidents and the mistakes, errors will happen from time to time. It hap uh, those happen to uh, professionals also. And uh, again, just read those code. Uh, blocks and code you type as some kind of uh, sane information some kind of logical information which it is actually it represents logical information which is uh, executed in steps by uh, game maker studio or other game engine and uh, that's how you should approach it and then it makes sense so if i say first my speed will be horizontally three that's cool so my and it will, will go horizontally like this, 3 pixels per frame. But af after that I said, OK, go diagonally to the left. So what will happen now? It will go diagonally to the left, I think. Yeah. And why is that so? Because the first one, horizontal speed, go horizontally 3, was executed. But because this is around like 60 frames per second it was so fast you cannot even see it and the second one the second code block the second uh, execution was uh, um, almost instantly after it so you cannot see the first one even uh, doing anything on the screen so the second one goes after that one and says okay don't go anymore horizontal that was like this go down and below and this one is the last one and it's it's what the game maker remembers as the last information as the last direction as the last uh, uh, order to do so just be careful about that so uh, you have to if you use uh, direction here that's what i wanted to say then be careful to use direction here or vice versa if you want to overwrite it then use other and so on and again if you use that in step we will use that in later videos maybe you can um, use this uh, to define more complex like go to the right and if you see the door on your right then don't click uh, don't touch them go up if you see this uh, blue square don't touch it go to the left if you see this yellow don't touch it go down and so on so that will be code for our uh, enemy to go in some kind of uh, patrol state and uh, it has to be done through a couple of steps and different uh, code blocks and um, if else statements and that's uh, kind of complex for now but uh, it's not so complex um, when you when you see it in action again uh, try to exercise as much as you can um, in a game maker and in real life physically and uh, it will all make sense and don't be afraid to make mistakes uh, it's uh, easy to correct them or fix them and sometimes uh, those mistakes will uh, actually help you uh, to um, uh, it, they are called like lucky accidents in game uh, development because sometimes those accidents will make uh, some kind of uh, funny and usable mechanics for your games which you couldn't come up with your own uh, ideas but only by accident so just uh, make games make uh, anything you can create and so on so bye for now and see you in the uh, next video